there are situations in life that can cause the strongest devoted person in a faith to lose his faith in God. Sometimes things happen in your life that if you haven't known God and his ways, you will want to doubt his existence. We are not serving God for what we will get. We are serving God because we have a relationship with him. God wants people who will trust him no matter what happens in their life. The number one person who rejoices when people lose their faith in God is the devil. Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is a blameless and upright. A man who fears God and shuns evil. Job 1 verse 8 it matters who you are in the sight of God. God himself said Job was upright, blameless, and fears God. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Satan thinks that if we lack some things, we will not fear God. Anytime things seem not to be working, he will whisper into your ears that God is not with you. He will try to lie to you God doesn't care about your situation. You have always put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. You have made him prosper in everything he does. Look how rich he is. The devil knows that God has a wall of protection around you. God has a wall of protection around you, your home and your property. Every good and perfect gift comes from God. Every good thing you have now is from God. Satan is aware of how blessed you are. Satan went ahead to tell God to take everything he has given him and see if he will not curse him. God proved to Satan that Job trusts him with everything he has. He knew Job loves him for who he is and not just what he gives. Satan took everything from Job. When something bad happens, it doesn't necessarily mean that one is living a sinful life. Trying times come to the righteous and the unrighteous alike. The only difference is that the righteous trust the plan of God, not his pain. The wife of Job was giving him a wrong advice. Be careful who you are listening to when you are in pain. Some people trust their pain instead of trusting the plan of God. His wife said to him, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Curse God and die. But he said to her, you speak as one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God and shall we not accept adversity? In all this, Job did not sin with his lips. Foolish people are not people of integrity. Dear brothers and sisters, you have an integrity to protect. No matter what life throws at you, never lower your standards. We are not like the people of the world who don't have hope. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the called according to his purpose. Ungrateful people only remember the bad things but will never remember the good you have done to them. You can do all the good things in life to such people but one bad thing will make them say all kinds of bad things about you. Job said, Should we accept only good and not adversity? He said, I will defend my integrity till I die. When some people are in hardship, they suddenly forget who their God is. Sometimes life comes to test the professions we hold so dearly. Life will test your very character. The question is, are you going to throw away your godly virtues for a temporary comfort? Job didn't stop trusting God in spite of all that was happening in his life. The Lord God says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 God has a plan that is bigger than the pain you are experiencing now. God will prosper the work of your hands. Your future will be glorious. The word of God says, 
for our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 17 Everything you are going through now is temporary. God is going to cause everything to work together for your good. Job endured the unpleasant moment in his life, trusting in God who has the ability to change situations. Job said, I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. Job 23 verse 12 Regardless of whatever is happening in our lives, we should learn to trust God and his word. Some people, because of their pain, start doubting the word of God. The word of God will still come to pass, whether we are facing difficulties or not. Job kept holding on to the word of God and praying. The Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then all his brothers, all his sisters, and all those who had been his acquaintances before, came to him and ate food with him in his house. And they consoled him and comforted him for all the adversity that the Lord had brought upon him. Each one gave him a piece of silver and each a ring of gold. Now the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning, for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. God restored the losses of Job when he prayed. I pray that may God restore everything you have lost in Jesus' name. May God give you a double portion of his blessings in Jesus' name. Job lost his brothers, sisters, and acquaintances because of his condition. May God bless your life that those who once despised you will be ashamed in Jesus' name. May people who thought you would never amount to anything be brought to shame. May any good person you have lost in your life return to you. May you receive comfort and consolations for all you have gone through in Jesus' name. May durable riches and wealth be your portion in Jesus' name. May God bless your latter days more than your beginning. Psalms 80 verse 7 says, Restore us, O God of hosts, and cause your face to shine on us with favor and approval, and we will be saved. May God give you strength to finish your race in Jesus' name. Apostle Paul testified to Timothy about the goodness of God said, But the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, so that the message might be preached fully through me and that all the Gentiles might hear. Also, I was delivered out of the mouth of the liar. 2 Timothy 4 verse 17 May God stand by you and gives you strength. May you receive power to finish what you have started in Jesus' name. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. May God deliver you from any pain in Jesus' name. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. May God mend your broken heart in Jesus' name. Psalms 34 verse 22 says, But the Lord will redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. May God redeem you because you serve him. You shall not be put to shame in Jesus' name. The psalmist prayed to God saying, But as for me, afflicted and in pain, may your salvation, God, protect me. Psalms 69 verse 29 I don't know what you are passing through now, but like the psalmist, I want you to tell God what you are going through and ask for his protection. Keep praying and believing. Things will turn around for your good. Our Lord Jesus said, We may have sorrow for a while, but our sorrow will be turned to joy. In John 16, verse 20 to 22, Jesus says, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world 
will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. When a woman is giving birth, she has sorrow because her hour has come. But when she has delivered the baby, she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world. So also you have sorrow now, but I will see you again and your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy from you. May God turn your sorrow into joy in Jesus' name. Weeping may endure only for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalms 18 verse 28 says, You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. May God turn your darkness into light in Jesus' name. Indeed, the Lord has proclaimed to the end of the world. Say to the daughter of Zion, Surely your salvation is coming. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called sought out, a city not forsaken. Isaiah 62 verse 11 to 12. Your salvation is coming in the name of Jesus Christ. As you are praying in secret, I see the Lord rewarding you openly in Jesus' name. May you never be dismayed in Jesus' name. May God make all things to work together for your good in Jesus' name. Amen.